What's up you guys? Welcome back to today's video where we are gonna be testing out more makeup. In my last video, we tested out some other makeup from like YSL, Maybelline, ColourPop, um, and a couple other brands. So if you haven't checked that one out, I will link it at the end of this video and down below in the description box, but we are gonna get diving into some more makeup. I just went to CVS to pick up a new foundation because in my last video, I noticed my foundation was just a little off again. So I decided to go a little darker and we're gonna test it out and hope that it works. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Let's test out some new makeup. If you guys are excited to see it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's dive in. We are gonna begin the look with a little bit of primer and today I'm gonna to be going in again with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This is their liquid version so far. I've been enjoying it. This morning when I went to go pick up a foundation, I had no idea that in my arsenal, I already had a foundation that I needed to play with. So I did pick up the L'Oreal True Match. This is their warm 6.5. The shade that I have, I don't remember, but I know for a fact that it's way too light. My other option is by YSL, and this is the other one that I did not know I had. This is the Bare Look Tint in number shade nine. I you know, really don't try anything from Almay, but this one kind of like caught my eye in the corner and I was like, you know what? If I have to wear concealer, you might as well have something with a little bit of salicylic acid. Um, this is the shade 200 in like medium. And I'm thinking that if this does something like kind of counteracts the little problem areas that I have, I might go in with that YSL. Try it. Ooh, this is like a little grayish, but pretty close. They did have only three shades to choose from, so that's never fun. But another reason why I picked it was because I was at CVS. This one had like a $4 coupon and then a $5 coupon, which made this like $2. So you can't beat that. <laughs> oh, that actually covers up pretty nicely. Wow. It is a little bit of a thicker formula, so that's also very nice. I can't ever make a decision. We're just gonna try this out. I always have concealer if I need more. making me nervous it's not coming out maybe i have to cut it i, I don't know it's making me nervous i'm like Ugh. this could be a little light for me so that's not good oh shoot hmm okay oh it smells nice i kind of feel like i'm putting skincare on blend it out really nicely with the brush i think if you don't have any major concerns on your skin. You could totally use this to just even out your skin for an everyday look. Very fresh, very natural as it states in the packaging. I clearly have a couple blemishes that I need to cover up because we need just a little bit more help. But really, I would use this for just an easy slap and go kind of a makeup look. I, I like the way that this is looking on my skin. So far, I'm really liking the consistency and the texture of this. I was hoping that the weather wouldn't be as hot as it is. We're having like a little bit of a heat wave right now, not a little bit, like a serious heat wave. Um, but they just came out with the pumpkin spice stuff at Starbucks and I'm not really a fan of like the cold brews. Um, otherwise I would have totally picked up like that apple crisp, but the pumpkin spice latte came out and I'm like, I don't really want hot coffee on a hot day. So I'm waiting, which is really, really hard to do. We're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I think I should have gotten the medium to dark because I feel like this one is almost too light. Like you can't, once I blend it out, you really don't see anything. So this is not working. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm using this little sponge from e.l.f. I finally got my hands on it. I have the one from Beauty Blender, but my daughter took that one, so I'm, I was like, okay, well. I'm just going in with the Maybelline powder. I've been using this for a while now. I just really like it. And then we're gonna go in with bronzer. I did use this one in my last video. I'm gonna use it again. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is the L'Oreal Bronzer. I did also pick up the blush, which we're gonna test out here in a second, so I'm excited for that. This Kabuki brush, it's so fun. I'm also gonna stick with the L'Oreal blushes and I'm gonna pick this one. This is called a Legendary Berry. I just picked this up this morning. Uh, there were just a few shades to choose from and this one I've seen a few times now and it has caught my eye. So I figured this is the one I need to get. I also did see, I was on Trend Mood and I saw that they just um, posted this 
collection from Makeup Revolution, the Grease, the Grease one. I love Grease. Grease is my all-time favorite movie. Grease, Grease 2, and then Sleeping in, Sleep is in Seattle, not Sleep is in Seattle, While You Were Sleeping. There it is. While You Were Sleeping with Sandra Bullock. So those are my all-time favorite movies. Grease has always been my favorite movie. I watch it anytime I see it on television. Like I can't change it. And then if I get bored and I wanna watch something, I always turn it on. So when I saw this collection, I mean, a part of me is like, I don't even care what the palette looks like. I don't care if I'll never wear the colors. I just want it. Like I want it because it's grease. This is so dark. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Goof Poof Brow Powder. I have the shade five, warm. And I'm just gonna put some right in the front because I feel like this is where uh, my brows disappear at. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna apply a little bit of Max Paint Pot in Painterly. So we are gonna be trying out the Alter Ego palette. This is um, the palette called Sakura. I might be saying that wrong and I apologize. I'm vibing towards this today and use that as my first transition shade. So this week I just finished the Summer I Turn series books. It was kind of like something I really could not, I, I didn't want to wait anymore to find out like how the ending was going to be. Now that I'm playing with this, I'm like, I probably shouldn't have done cooler tones with a warmer skin. I don't know what I was thinking. You're probably wondering what team I'm on. I'm team Conrad. That boy. If you have the opportunity to watch to read the books, definitely read the books um, because I feel like in the in the TV show, the characters are just portrayed a little bit differently. Oh my gosh. So this is the shade Prime. Gracious. I love this. I'm a little bit nervous that throughout the day some of the frost will kind of, you know, trickle down onto my skin. Um, but let's go in with Live. Live. Why am I saying live? Live. We're going to go in with live and apply that to the rest of the lid. And again, I'm just using my finger. I want to add just a little bit of a deeper shade. So I'm going to go in with probably Lush and just add that right on the outer corner. For some reason, this is not popping up the way I want it to. I wanted to deepen it, but I feel like that palette doesn't have any matte shades that are dark for my lower lash line. So of course, I'm going in with my Safari palette by Natasha Denona. I always have this palette on hand, absolutely love it. And I'm just using it to kind of line there. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of Voodoo and just line it here at the top. I just need a little bit of depth here, but I don't want a liquid liner, just a little bit of darkness there. So I just applied this mascara. This is the FanFest mascara from Benefit. Um, I was just doing a small little blurb over for Instagram and TikTok. So the wand is curved, which makes it really nice to kind of get the outer lash and the inner lashes, makes it so easy to get. But I also really love the formula. The formula is really nice too, because it allows the layers to dry pretty quick, not super fast, but like quick enough where you're not waiting too long to apply a second coat of mascara. I came across this NYX, this is, this is a milky gloss. So I just applied a lip liner, which is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF number three with just a lipstick. And we're just gonna apply this right on top. Um, this is in the shade Cookies and Milk. So before we head out, I wanted to finish off with the Essence. This is the Kissed by the Light Illuminating Powder. I'm kind of just gonna mix it together. Add a little bit of light there. So we are done you guys, but let's talk about this lip combo. This like milk and cookies. I think it's like perfect for the fall and the winter months because it gives that like nice rich enhancement to like the mood, the nude lip. Mascara on point. Um, and then let's talk about the skin tint. So the skin tint I was really impressed by. It evened out everything. I have a little more issues on my cheek area, just a little bit of discoloration um, everywhere. And I feel like it did a really good job of just evening everything out. And then just going in with a little bit of concealer was the perfect thing to add to it. If you guys want to know the shades and you guys want to know some more about the products that I talked about, I will link everything down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up if you like checking out these new makeup videos. And I will see you guys all in my next video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.